welcome everybody to our webinar in this episode or this um, version we're going to go through the catalog every year we um, in one of the webinars we take time to go page by page through the catalog and you can see that I went on the DAC website and I pulled up the catalog here for those of you that don't know how to do that I'm going to get back out of this so that we can look okay here's the DAC website and you just scroll down and our catalog pet catalog we're going to click on our catalog and here it is and then I'll make it full screen and we'll go through it so it's super easy I hope that you have your own catalog in front of you and the reason why is I like to have my master catalog that I write notes in and I'll write notes in that in that book so that when I'm out and about I, I have those and I don't have to be like looking back through notes from a webinar um, but I have them right there in the catalog so so uh, I'm going to start with the second page first, actually. So the About Us page. For those people that are brand new to DAC, um, I think it's really neat. Or you've got customers that are brand new and maybe they've never heard about the DAC company before. Here is just a little bit of a background of the company. It's been around since 1983, so we're 40 years, celebrating 40 years this year. That in itself, could be a whole webinar. Not many companies stay in business for 40 years, and this one has doing the same thing year after year. Good customer service, quality products, don't really go outside their wheelhouse, and you know, we're not making tack or selling buggies or selling, you know, <clears throat> riding gear. It's a supplement company. We sell vitamins and minerals, nutritional support for horses. And we've obviously branched out into pets and livestock, but that stay true to, to the thing that we're really good at. Over the years, the technologies have changed. Uh, performance Source Nutrition came on board. Owners have changed. Um, but the, the foundation, the, the premise behind the company has always been the same, to provide the finest animal health and nutritional products at the most economical price we possibly can in order to enhance the performance of our customers' animals. Um, and I think that <clears throat> it really shows that education is the foundation of how they interact with their customers and dealers, right? We have to make sure that everybody is recommending the right products and that our customers are being sold the correct product for their horse you know, being oversold, undersold, and so education is the foundation of what we do and how we sell the products. And so I really appreciate we've got 44 people on tonight. That's fantastic. So we go back to the first inside the front cover. This is brand new. And for any of you that were on our webinar last month that where we had a recap of DAC days, this brand new ingredient um, that is exclusive only to performance horse nutrition customers. And I can tell you that right now, DAC is the exclusive partner, the only company on the planet that is uh, utilizing this ingredient. None of your competitors can get it. You have to be a PHN client. <clears throat> and DAC is the only supplement company that we work with. So there will be no other supplement companies using this. And it is a multi strain probiotic that can help with uh, strangles, diarrhea, E. coli, uh, di uh, colic sickness, um, respiratory disorders. We have it in, as we go through, I'll show you the, the, the products that it's in. Where this product came about was in looking at the research, there had been reputable research done by universities on <clears throat> commercially available probiotic supplements. And in order to be considered a probiotic, the, the bugs, the live organism, has to arrive alive. That is, that's kind of the little tagline, arrive alive. So it has to come in the container alive. 
your horse has to be able to eat it and it needs to get to the hindgut alive in order to do its job. Unfortunately, there are a lot of products on the market where the supplement is dead, right? The probiotic is dead, straight up dead. So we wanted to overcome that. We wanted to make sure that we could stand by our products and say, okay, these are 100% alive and they're going to make it to the hindgut. So we tested it under acidic stomach environments, pelleting different to high temperatures and pressures, and 100% this arrives alive to the hindgut. Actually, that pH in the stomach breaks open the outer capsule, and, and so that is what is allowing it to stay stable in the package, in the product, and then when it hits that acidic stomach and it flows through to the hindgut, that, that's where it's activated. Um, so that's the PHN GI Pro 3 that is exclusively available. Only only supplement company in the country is Jack. On the right hand side, we've got the table of contents so that you can skim down there. Another thing that uh, we has been updated on the website is this category key. So we use this little key, you know, the little leaf for vitamins and minerals, but it's a mare and fall for repro. And on the website, those keys, those little clip arts have been utilized so that um, it is easier, everything's more streamlined, okay? So partners, National Animal Supplement Council. It was founded in 2001. And what it is, is an industry group that, it was a group of organizations that got together and said there needs to be better um, guidance, quality control in the supplement industry, right? And so it is a volunteer, people voluntarily join the organization. No one says you have to join it, but these days it is such a reputable seal. If you don't see that yellow seal on the supplement, pets, dogs, cats, horses, then I wouldn't feed it, right? This seal is on the DAC products. DAC was one of the founding partners um, that started the National Animal Supplement Council. And Aubrey has gotten a taste of it this year. Furman can tell you the rigors that they go through in order to maintain that ability to, to use that quality seal, that NASC logo. What that says to a consumer is an added level of quality control. And so when we belong to NASC, they audit the facility, they audit the, the catalog, any printed marketing materials, they audit the labels, the website, everything that we write about the products is audited. They go through it all. And they say, no, you can't say that, you can say this. They make sure we don't make overt claims. You'll see that all of our labels are set up the same way so that it's easier for the consumer to compare. Another excellent thing that they do is we don't, obviously we don't make glucosamine or chondroitin. We buy ingredients that then we mix together to make our products, right? We need to make sure that where we're buying those source ingredients, those individual ingredients, that they also have gone through quality control, right? That they also um, are at the level that we have in our company. So NASC provides us with a list of suppliers that have also gone through this very strict quality control protocols so that we know when we're buying glucosamine or chondroitin or vitamin E or vitamin C or whatever we're buying, individual ingredients, that the company we're buying it from has gone through all this auditing. We know that that product is what it says it is. <clears throat> so that is a huge selling point. Um, when you see that little yellow seal, it means you can rest assured that what is written on the label is actually in the product. Um, and that we're what we write in our marketing materials, the product will actually do, and we're not writing anything over it, like we're not curing cancer or anything like that. <clears throat> Performance Horse Nutrition was founded by Dr. Stephen Duran in 2002. He, uh, it's myself and Dr. Duran, I came on obviously much later on, 
and we are two PhD equine nutritionists that work all around the world, working with all different kinds of horses. Um, and DAC is the only supplement company that we work with in the world. So that's pretty impressive. It means that the products are formulated with science, technology. We bring out new products based on consumer demand and science available. Right. Sometimes there's a lot of consumer demand because maybe it's a hot topic on the Internet, but we make sure that there's also science that can align with that consumer demand before we create any products. Um, there are not a lot of other companies out there um, that will give you access to their nutritionists. Right. Maybe they do have a Ph.D. nutritionist on staff, but very rarely will they give you access. I know a lot of names on this list, and I can tell you that people call me all the time. They email me, Nicole Vary, she's one of Katie's, she's a fantastic dealer for the company, and she freely emails me today. There was a horse, an older horse that had chronic diarrhea, and she tried several different products and wasn't getting any results. So what could she do next? And that, that is what I can do. I can help. I can help you with your clients. If you're not quite sure, we can, you can go straight to your rep and then you know, we can all work together as a team. Sometimes if it's veterinarians, they sometimes want to talk to somebody that's got some letters behind their name. And so I can help there as well. Um, all tech is one of the um, kind of suppliers that we use. Uh, chelated minerals, the organic yeast, the biomass, Zinpro, another mineral company, chelated minerals as well that we utilize. Kemen, Kemen is where we get, um, Kemen was a partner with Performance Horse Nutrition to create the GI Pro 3. Kemen is where we get the chromium that we utilize in the DAC metabolic and in the um, eBoost paste and in the racing formula. It's where we get the butyric acid, the butyl Z that we have in the rescue aid. Um, <clears throat> Kemen is a partner, again, a biotech company that um, uses a lot of science to develop their products and scientifically does a lot of testing in horses as well. We're not just taking human research or pig research and trying to apply it to horses, but they've done equine research, that the chromium that we use, the chemtrace chromium, is the only FDA approved chromium for horses. If anyone knows anything about the FDA, trying to pass anything through them, especially approving anything, takes a long, long, long time. And you have to cross your T's and dot your I's over and over and over again. And um, Kevin went through that process and has the product. So the direct action, we'll go into the um, products now. So the direct action is our first vitamin and mineral supplement. From when we're talking about the vitamins and mineral, and I'll tell you where we stop, we're only gonna pick one of these per horse, okay? You can mix any one of these with any other products in the catalog, but this first, section when we talk about vitamins and minerals this is the only section of the catalog where we don't double up we don't do direct action in orange or cult grower and total performance we just pick one okay so the direct action was you know it's the namesake of the company direct action company direct action was the original vitamin and mineral supplement it is the most <clears throat> cost effective or economical supplement it doesn't have all the bells and whistles it is a loose um, kind of meal-based vitamin and mineral that you can top dress onto uh, fortified or non-fortified grains. When I use the term fortified or non-fortified, what that means is not fortified means with vitamins and minerals. So any of your neutrina, purina, your commercial concentrates, they're what we call fortified. They have vitamins and minerals already in them. The non-fortified grains are those like corn, oats, barley. They do not have any vitamins and minerals in them already. Direct action, I recommend this for horses in the back 40, horses not doing a lot of exercise, um, not high performance athletes. 
Orange Superior, another vitamin and mineral supplement. This one crosses a lot of ca categories, right? It, it, if you're going to have one vitamin and mineral supplement in a, in a boarding stable, for example, Orange Superior is excellent because it, it crosses a lot of bases. You can feed it to a performance horse, a pregnant animal, a lactating animal, a maintenance horse. Now, obviously, we have total performance that was for performance horses and Breeders Choice Plus. But if you've got a client that just wants to have one, wants to keep things simple, the Orange Superior covers a lot of bases, right? Vitamin and mineral supplement, <clears throat> chelated minerals across the board. Now, chelated minerals are much more bioavailable to the horse. You want to make sure we've got by these chelated or bioavailable trace minerals in your vitamin and mineral supplement. What it means is the horse is seeing those minerals in the way they would see them in nature, for example. So horses are meant to eat plants, not rocks. They're not meant to eat dirt. Minerals are dirt, though. They're straight up rocks. So horses in the wild would eat plants that their roots go down into the ground and absorb those minerals into the leaves and stem. And that's what the horse eats. And so those minerals are in their organic form. What we've done is attach organic substances to those minerals, those rock type minerals that we mine out of the ground, to make them mimic how the horse would see it in a plant. <clears throat> it means that they're a lot more absorbed across the intestinal wall. And if you really get down to the nuts and bolts of it, it means more bang for your buck. More, is bit, more of your money that you're spending on vitamins and minerals is actually being an, absorbed and used by your horse. Okay, if you look in the ingredients list, you're going to see, so we go calcium carbonate, calcium phosphate, soybean meal, soybean oil, potassium chloride, choline chloride, vitamin A, and then we get into the minerals, zinc proteinate. That little word proteinate, that's the type of chelate that we use. We attach it to a protein, manganese proteinate, copper proteinate, cobalt proteinate, okay? Uh, the next thing I'll point out is this D-alpha-tocopherol acetate. That is a source of natural vitamin E. If you see a little L after the D, that means it's synthetic. Synthetic vitamin E is not very available to the horse at all. We really want to see um, natural vitamin E. <clears throat> so the GI Pro 3 is in this product at a support supportive amount. So you'll hear me use supportive and therapeutic. When something is in a product at a therapeutic dose, it means if the animal is active, sick, uh, respiratory issue, diarrhea, something that we're trying to um, overcome, then you want to feed something that's got a therapeutic dose. Rescue aid, DDA, for example. The Supportive dose just means daily you're getting a small amount of the, that probiotic that's just going to help um, boost the horse's immune system. But if they have a, an insult, they're getting it'll stop, it'll improve their immune system. But if they have a large insult to the immune system, you need a little more. So that is Organic selenium, again, those chelated minerals, we want to make sure that they're bioavailable. So that organic selenium is actually selenium yeast. So we take rock type selenium and we grow yeast on it, right? Yeast is a tiny, tiny plant. It absorbs the selenium out of that rock type selenium that it's growing on up into the yeast. And then we feed the horse that selenium yeast. And that's how they get that organic selenium. It's much, much more um, bioavailable and safe to feed to the horse. Selenium is a powerful antioxidant. It helps um, prevent damage from oxidation, which is stress. Stress in any form causes oxidation. Stress from exercise, stress from aging. Um, these all cause oxidative stress. And things like vitamin E and selenium stop that oxidative stress. We talked about the, the chelated minerals. Breeders' Choice Plus. So the Breeders' Choice Plus was designed specifically for brood mares and stallions, right? Um, and it's got higher amounts of vitamin A. You can see in comparison to the Orange Superior, we have double the amount of vitamin A. Um, and selenium 
is also higher in the Breeders' Choice Plus. We know that selenium and vitamin A are really, really important for um, reproductive health because reproduction is a luxury. And if we have any kind of stress causing that kind of oxidative breakdown of the tissue, then you know we're not going to get an embryo to implant. We're not going to have quality oocytes. So using something like the Breeders Choice Plus is ideal for those mares and stallions, especially a mare that has had difficulty getting bred in the past. Now, obviously it's not a miracle worker. If you've got a 25 year old mare who's never had a baby before and now you want to breed her, probably the Breeders Choice Plus is the first place I'd start, but um, you know, it, it's not a miracle worker, but that elevated vitamin A and selenium is excellent if all things align and it's improving reproductive health. So if you've got mares and stallions, specifically mares that have been a bit difficult to get pregnant, then use the Breeders' Choice Plus. If you've got just one broodmare that you wanna breed and everything else is on Orange Superior and she's had no issues getting pregnant, then you can use the orange superior. But if you want to nail in everything, you want to dial in everything, and you have the freedom to choose the supplement for your mares, then the Breeders' Choice Plus oops, is the right thing for those mares. Now we're on to colt grower. So for those young growing horses, the colt grower, we typically recommend that young horses go on the colt grower about three months of age. So three months of age is when the milk curve the lactation curve will start to drop off, right? And so that foal then needs to be consuming his own food so that he can absorb the vitamins and minerals out of his food because he's not, he's not able to get any out of the milk. Now there's a small amount in the milk, but the other thing is in the last part of pregnancy, what the dam does or the mother does is she actually fortifies the fetal liver. She puts minerals into that developing fetus's liver so that once it's born, it can, it can tap into those. It can suck them out of its liver and utilize those because milk really isn't high in, in minerals. But with the lactation curve going down, it means the foal is no longer reliant 100% on milk. It's eating its own food. So that coincides also with when the minerals will be depleted from the liver. And so they have to start getting those minerals from the food that they are consuming. So that's why the cult grower, we recommend three months of age. Now, if you have a young growing horse that um, has some earlier signs of developmental issues, some leg and joint issues, um, maybe you've got a mare that always throws really big foals um, or it's growing quickly, we will get that foal onto the colt grower at 30 days of age. So we'll get way ahead and we'll fortify that foal even more. Because let's just say you get a mare and we don't know, uh, and, and you get her through, acquire her at some point during her pregnancy, but you don't know what her nutrition has been like. Then if she doesn't have enough vitamins and minerals for herself, she's not going to be able to fortify that fetal liver. So if in doubt, start feeding the cult grower earlier because then we're supplying those minerals earlier that they weren't able to get out of their liver, right? If, they, if the mare wasn't eating it, it wasn't put in the liver, so we need to supply it earlier. Typically, horses will go off the cult grower at around two years of age and go on to something like the orange, the total performance, the racing formula, whatever fits their needs after that. Now, that's to, that is for a horse that is a, a, more, a, a regular maturing horse, like a thoroughbred, standard bred, Morgan, Pony. If you've got something like a warm blood or a draft horse that matures later, we need to keep them on the colt grower maybe through three, four years of age. There's certainly no um, detrimental effects keeping the horses on the colt grower longer. The other thing that we have in the colt grower is the calcium source is calcite. You can see the very first ingredient there is a thing called calcite. So 
we've talked about this calci powder or this calcite over and over when we talk about gut health, right? If you look at it under a microscope, it looks like honeycomb. And that gives it so many more surface areas for the acid in the stomach to touch so it can buffer that acid. But it also has a lot more surface areas for the animal to absorb that calcium. So incredible research on bone density and bone strength when animals are fed that calcite or calci powder, okay? So that is in the cult grower. I've actually had some people use the cult grower off label if, or, or one of the other products that has a lot of calci in it um, for an older horse that may have gone through some severe bone damage, like a broken bone that they're trying to heal, just to get that source of calcium that is going to really strengthen those bones. So. That's the cult grower. Again, um, those chelated minerals, organic selenium, supportive dose of the GI Pro 3, and then the marine derived calcium, the calcite. Racing formula. So, the racing formula, we have the added benefit of the chemtrace chromium. So, chromium in an athlete or a performance horse is going to help unlock more energy. So what chromium does, think about glucose is the energy for life. You need glucose for your brain to function, for your immune system, for your muscles, for your tissues, organs, everything, every biochemical pathway in your body utilizes glucose. You need glucose, right? But the horse is going, the body is going to prioritize where they need to use it. So maybe the horse, his immune system is a little bit down. Maybe he you know, went to a show and picked up a little bug that you don't see, but his immune system is being taxed a little bit. So extra glucose is going to be used to, to create energy to fight off that infection. What if this is your barrel horse and you want the horse to go fast? So you want every bit of glucose that you put into the diet to go towards muscle strength and going faster, that quick release energy that's going to make him go faster. But you don't, you aren't able to see, you, there's no, not, not a window into this horse so that you can see that, oh, his immune system was a little bit down. So all of the energy that I'm giving him in his food is actually going to fuel his immune system, right? It's like when we get sick, we get really tired because your body is trying to fight off that infection. And so we don't have extra energy for our normal day-to-day -day activities. We get drained of energy because our body is just trying to fight off that infection. So what chromium will do is actually unlock more glucose, more energy for the body. So we now have more energy for the immune system, for brain development, for all these other functions. And now there's some also left over for muscle strength and, and, and speed, okay, using it. And also, horses aren't very good at replenishing glucose. We call it glycogen when they store it in the muscle. And so when you do, say, you don't just, when you go, guys, go to a barrel race, you don't just do one run. There are multiple runs in an evening. So what you need your horse to be able to do is recover quickly, same as if it's a show jumping horse. You don't just go and do one round. There are multiple. So horses are constantly having to recover quickly. And that chromium is going to help them unlock that glucose in the food that you're feeding them so that they can use it for all the priorities of life. But then we can also replenish what we've used exercising into the muscle so we can recover a lot faster. So that's in the racing formula. Also, those chelated minerals, organic selenium. Um, the racing formula we recommend for these high performance athletes, especially athletes doing exercise at speed. Now, one might say, oh, will it make my horse crazy? Absolutely not. It will not change your horse's behavior. It will just unlock more nutrients for them to recover and stay healthy. The total performance is a vitamin mineral supplement also for our elite athletes it doesn't have the chromium 
It's got the bioavailable trace minerals, the organic selenium. Um, so again, high performing athletes, it's got a supportive dose of the GI Pro 3. Um, but maybe you've got like a dressage horse or a, uh, a hunter horse that you um, want to use the total performance on. We also have a lot of um, thoroughbreds that use the total performance, but I would be inclined to recommend horses at speed that need to quickly replace their energy be on something like the racing formula. The Total Performance Plus is a vitamin and mineral supplement. It's the Total Performance with added joint support. Okay, so we have all of the nutrients that we would have in our Total Performance vitamin and mineral, but we also added in a maintenance dose of the Optimum Flex Plus. When you're feeding the, I think it's a three or four ounce feeding rate, you will get the maintenance dose of the Optimum Flex. Now, if you need a loading dose of OptiFlex, you need to add that separately. So maybe you're gonna, maybe you wanna do the total performance, but we're just start, the total performance plus, but we're just starting. So you would buy a small thing of the OptiFlex so that you can load the joint supplement. And then once that's over, you can continue just doing the total performance plus um, and that's going to give you a maintenance dose of the joint. But again, you have to be feeding that, I think, three to four ounces a day. So uh, glucosamine, chondroitin, hyaluronic acid, all in that product, as well as your uh, calcium, phosphorus, iron, zinc, manganese. Um, <clears throat> the, a supportive dose of the GI Pro 3 also. Now, I want to bring up a question that I actually got today. Um, there was some, there's, there was some confusion about uh, the actual label here, and so I often get, uh, say for the Total Performance Plus, for example, the crude protein is eight percent. Um, now again, this is not you're only feeding you know two to four ounces of this, so you're really not getting a lot of protein out of this product, but there's sometimes confusion about 8%, 8% in the whole bag, 8% where? 8% of the whole bag or one ounce or two ounces, whatever you're feeding, 8% of that quantity that you're feeding is going to be protein. So you'll see that the label is written per one ounce. So in one ounce of total performance plus, 8% of one ounce is 2,270 milligrams, okay? So the, in the parentheses there, we've got the actual amount of the ingredient per one ounce. Well, I'm feeding four ounces. Okay, so take that number and times it by four, and that's the exact amount of that ingredient you are going to get. The pasture lick. The pasture lick is the only, well, the DAC, da, direct action has been used as a free choice, mixing it with 50-50 with salt. You can put that out in a feeder, but the posture lick is the truly only um, kind of free choice mineral that we supply. So it comes in that 60 pound tub. It was really designed for horses that aren't coming in every day to eat. Maybe they're being out in a field together, multiple horses, um, getting hay, plenty of beautiful grass, hay, not getting any vitamin and mineral every day. And so the pasture lick is ideal for that. One of the additions that we have made this year to that lick tub is adding all natural fly control. So people have asked, what is the all natural fly control? It's actually diatomaceous earth yucca shitagira and some bacillus subtilis fermentation. You can see that in the, the second last and the last line of the ingredients. How it works is when the horse it ingests fly eggs and they pass through and then when the fly larva are trying to hatch out of the manure, the diatomaceous earth is really abrasive. So it actually uh, sh pretty much shreds 
those larvae. Um, and the yucca shitagira extract keeps ammonia and smell down, so that is a less of a fly attractant. And then the bacillus subtilis also helps to keep the smell down. So that is the all natural fry control, no chemicals. Now the thing is, if you've got half the barn or, or half your facility is on the pasture lick with fly control and the other half of your horses are not getting any fly control, um, then it's not really gonna work. You have to have all the horses on the facility have to be on some kind of fly control program. So maybe the horses in the barn are getting our citronella spray, our actual topical fly spray, and the horses that live out in the field are getting the pasture lick. That would be covering all of your bases, but all the horses, all the animals on your property need to be going through some kind of fly control, be it feed through or topical. Um, and then, so that comes, that brings us to the end of the vitamin and mineral supplements, right? You're not going to mix and match any of these. Um, they're gonna pick one and feed that to a single horse. The Breeders Excel, the Breeders Excel is complementary to the Breeders Choice Plus, right? It goes really well together. It was designed for mares and stallions to improve reproductive efficiency. It's going to improve semen quality in stallions and o oocyte or egg quality in mares, okay? It's eight ounces a day for mares and 16 ounces a day for stallions. And we really need to, especially in stallions, feed that 60 days prior to the first date of intended breeding. What it is, is natural vitamin E and DHA. DHA is an omega-3 fatty acid. And the research has shown that those two ingredients improve semen quality and oocyte quality or egg quality. The other place that the DHA has been actually really beneficial is when mares have a foal, that uterus is all stretched out and we need it to snap back into place as quickly as possible so we can rebreed her, all right? And that time in which, as the horse gets older and older or has had more and more falls, the time in which the uterus takes to come back to its original shape so that it can take on another pregnancy gets longer and longer. So especially with your older mares, um, feeding the breeders excel to them will help that uterus contract back into place so that she can re be rebred as quickly as possible. The DAC oil. The DAC oil is straight up a fat supplement, right? It's 98% fat. Um, it's a blend of canola oil, flaxseed oil, wheat germ oil, a bit of rice oil, fish oil, 100% natural vitamin E. We use citric acid, which is vitamin C, as a preservative, and it actually only has natural flavor in it. It's a caramel flavor. So why would you feed the oil? Weight gain and healthy coat, right? A lot of people will use one pump of the oil. Also. Um, from a management standpoint, just to stick the other supplements together. So we can use it that way, management-wise, it's helping stick all the supplements together so the horses aren't sifting it out. But if we're using the oil for its benefits, then we can feed up to two cups a day for weight gain. That's significant, right? And we want to, grad we want to gradually build them up to that. We can spread that up out over two, uh, I prefer three meals. If we're just looking for coat shine, then you're going to do, you know, probably two to four, maybe eight pumps a day just for coat shine, depending on the horse and the quality of its coat. Now, what the oil won't do is fix a damaged hair coat. If the horse has a damaged hair coat, then we need the bloom, and we'll talk about that in a bit more. But the DAC oil, we don't even sell this as we don't promote this as a high omega-3 fatty acid supplement, but we've done the calculations on the amount of omega-3s in this product. And this product has more usable omega-3s than some other not to be named oil supplements that actually market themselves as being omega-based supplements, right? So 
um, we've got 11% omega-3 fatty acids in the product. The bloom, as I mentioned, the bloom is going to help give a really great hair coat. It's all kinds of amino acids here. You know, we've got the zinc, which is going to help with hair quality. It's 32% fat, 30% protein, um, lysine, methionine, threonine, phenylalanine, all of these essential amino acids, biotin as well, because it's going to help broken, damaged hair. So if we've got a rough, poor quality hair coat, the bloom is what's going to fix that hair coat. Right? It's got fat content that's also going to shine that hair. But a lot of people, when they're prepping sales horses or yearlings, they're going to use a combination of bloom and oil together. Right? And the bloom's job is to fix that damaged hair coat, get that hair coat really nice, give a little extra top line muscle development, and the oil is going to make them slick and add um, body weight. Now into the digestive health supplements. You know I love these, and I say my little mantra every time I do a presentation is every horse every day should eat the DBA. If there's one product in the catalog that you should go to first and last, it's the DBA, right? If somebody is on the fence, not sure whether they want to try any of the DAC products, the, the DDA is really one that I recommend often. It doesn't interfere with the rest of their feeding program, right? They're, it can still feed whatever commercial feed they're feeding or oats or whatever, and their hay. And this is just going to enable that horse to get more out of what you're already feeding it. So the two most benign, simple, easy cells in the whole catalog for me are the DDA and the oil, right? Easiest things to sell. Any horse on the planet could eat one of those products. So, um, you know, something like the Optimum Flex Plus, the joint supplement, is a lot more expensive and is a lot harder to sell. So if you've got new people coming on board, the DDA and the oil give the most bang for the buck. They really improve the health. Um, so the DAC Digestive Feed Additive, it has a therapeutic dose of the GI Pro 3. It's got yeast in it, it's got integral, which is going to bind up mycotoxins, which are the bad toxins that come from mold. Horses don't know that, you know, they're so susceptible to mycotoxin mold poisoning. So we really need to make sure that we're one step ahead of that. Um, we know that the yeast helps with fiber digestion. So those older horses, we know that fiber digestion goes down. You're in an area where we don't have the best quality hay. You want to make sure they're getting yeast in their diet. Um, the GI Pro 3, again, helping with respiratory issues, helping with diarrhea, helping with um, strangles. Now, if your horse has strangles, you can't whip out the DDA and make it go away, but it's just building their natural defenses day in, day out, so that, you know, strangles, respiratory issues, they're, they're constantly bombarding our horse, right? They're constantly pushing at the barriers our horse has up. They're in the environment. And we need to make sure that, just imagine that, that we're reinforcing the protective structures of the horse. So those bad things can constantly keep punching, but they don't break through, right? We're constantly building up a strong defense in that horse. Um, the rescue aid. The rescue aid is not something that I feed every single day. The DDA, I feed it every day. It is a maintenance supplement. It is part of every horse's program. The rescue aid is more therapeutic though. All right, now the rescue aid has the PHNs, the GI Pro 3 no other therapeutic dose. It's also got butyrpearl ZEQ. So in the hindgut, which is the back part of the digestive system where all the bugs live and they break down fiber and they keep things healthy, there's a particular bacteria in there and it makes butyric acid. And what that butyric acid does is heal the intestinal cells, feed them, keep them healthy. Again, keeps that protective layer strong so that bad things in the intestines uh, that they ingest can't punch through into the bloodstream, all right? That butyric acid does that. Well, we know that horses are constantly being attacked 
their, de their defense mechanisms, that outer layer is constantly being broken down. Stress, exercise, heat, change in diet, change in weather, change your buddies, um, transporting, all of those things break, they're constantly breaking down those protective barriers that we put up for those horses, that the horses put up. And so when those bad things are punching at it, when the horse is super stressed, it just punches right through and breaks it down. So what we do is we add that butyrpearl Z, which is butyric acid encapsulated in zinc, because we know these horses that are stressed aren't making their own butyric acid. So we put it in there again, so it keeps that that wall, that defensive layer in the intestine healthy so that, that bad stuff can't punch through. Along with the GI Pro 3, which is good bugs in that we're putting in like that, that three strain um, probiotic that we're putting in that is also keeping that microbial population really healthy. Also Biomarch, again, binding up bad bacteria. So where I use the rescue aid, horses with chronic diarrhea, that fecal water syndrome that we just don't seem to be able to correct, um, I use the rescue aid a lot with those animals. Three ounces a day is the feeding rate for those high stress animals. The cool gut. Now, the cool gut we developed as a gut health supplement is going to help in the stomach and the hind gut. It's really a game changer when it came to gastric ulcers, right? That's where we first developed it, in that it's got that calcium powder, that marine derived calcium that looks like honeycomb. Now, a lot of you have probably heard of Outlast, right? The Purina product, Outlast. The key ingredient in Outlast is marine-derived calcium, the exact same ingredient that we have in the cool gut, okay? So buffers stomach acid, keeps that pH down um, from becoming super strong so that it's damaging that tissue. We also know that that calcium is going to also go to the hindgut. So if those bacteria get out of balance and they create too much acid, which will break down those defensive layers, those intestinal cells, um, that we've got this calcite, this calcium is helping to support that um, correct acidity there as well. It's also got L-glutamine. L-glutamine is what they give to chemotherapy patients that have intestinal cancers and L-glutamine is one of the natural substances that they will give those patients to help build those intestinal cells again, or build that intestinal wall. Saccharomyces cerevisiae, which is yeast, that is going to help with um, stabilizing that hindgut acidity. Moss binds bad bacteria. Whey protein concentrate helps build that that um, mucous membrane in the bottom of the horse's stomach, okay? And that is that, you know, where the bottom of the horse's stomach is where the acid is produced and sits, and it has a mucus coating on it, but it's easy for that mucus to be worn away. And that whey protein concentrate helps the horse to produce more mucus. Um, glycine also helps in the hindgut, and then the DHA decreases inflammation. So cool gut for horses with um, gastric ulcers. Three ounces a day. Someone the other day told me they're feeding two ounces. Three ounces a day. The pre-buff. The pre-buff is literally a liquid marine calcium, right? It's the calcite and water and a bit of kind of thickening agent so that it doesn't just, what the goal was that you could suck it up in a syringe and put it in the horse's mouth. And so we had to put some thickening agent in there. Um, and to make it palatable because kind of calcium and water doesn't really taste like much. So um, this you would use prior to exercise and works instantaneously. We did see this um, picture down the bottom, this graphic. This was some work we had done at the University of Kentucky. In the catalog, it's a, a clearer. Um, but we what we did is we have the pre-buff and we put it in acid and watch how quickly it dilutes that acid and brings the pH into a healthy range. So we start with the acidity down around a two, 
you put the pre-buff in and within, I think it's like within a few few minutes, we're up above a four, which is the healthy range. This particular study went out to two hours, but we know that we actually followed it through six hours. It will keep that um, acidity in that healthy buffered range. So I know that there are a lot of working horses, say uh, a working horse out in the field that isn't eating a lot during the day, they're not able to buffer that stomach acid. So something like the pre-buff, buggy horses, if they're going to on a long road, um, even horses that are your trailering, prior to trailering, use the pre-buff. Um, we've also used this product with horses with um, leg and bone damage, like a severe break if we're trying to heal it, because we're really just trying to get a lot more of that marine-derived calcium into them. So that's just kind of an off-label use, but do reach out to me if you have anything like that you want to use. Um, foundation formula. Foundation formula is our hoof supplement. Um, when you are looking at a hoof supplement or a joint supplement, you want a well-rounded product that is going to have ingredients that are going to touch all the different facets of that joint or hoof. So foundation formula, a hoof supplement. Most people, when you ask, what do you want in a hoof supplement? They say biotin, biotin. Biotin is a B vitamin. If your horse eats plenty of fiber and has a healthy hindgut, then the bugs in the hindgut make B vitamins they make biotin. It's very rare for a horse to be deficient in biotin. That being said, we know that adding extra biotin to the diet can improve hoof strength. We also know zinc, copper, methionine, lysine, vitamin A, these are also really important for elasticity, strength, um, soul health. If you look at a slow-mo vision, of a hoof landing on the ground, it spreads amazingly. It's amazing how much it spreads. So you need elasticity. You don't just need a hard, rigid structure. So we don't just want to see a foot hoof supplement with biotin. We want zinc, copper, methionine. These are all really critical ingredients in a hoof supplement. Now, with every other supplement, I say, you know, mostly we want to see at least 30 days on the supplement to see any changes, something like the DDA or the Rescue Aid. Um, cool gut, pre-buff, they are much quicker. You know, pre-buff instantaneous, um, cool gut, rescue aid, DDA within maybe a few hours to a few days. Something like the foundation formula though, you're looking at six months to a year for a hoof to fully grow out. So you're in it for the long haul. And that's any, any hoof supplement. Oops, we skipped, oh gosh, it's going too fast. Yucca, yucca shitagira extract, primarily a bit of zinc, manganese, cobalt, copper, uh, and cobalt. But pr the primary ingredient here is the yucca shitagira extract, and that is helping as a natural anti inflammatory. Also, in um, mares that you're foaling early, early, early in the winter, in the in the year, really, it's still winter. And if they're falling inside, it decreases ammonia. So it improves respiratory health on those young foals. Um, but as an anti-inflammatory, we have a lot of people that will use this uh, prior to going on something like the Optimum Flex. The LQHA Plus. The LQHA Plus is a liquid joint supplement. In the past, anyone back in my original presentations would know that I was never a huge proponent of a joint supplement for a young horse because there wasn't any really like avoiding osteoarthritis. It comes with exercise and age and genetics. What we know now though is hyaluronic acid is a key ingredient in that joint fluid, right? So the joint fluid in your joints, in the joint capsule, is primarily hyaluronic acid. And when you stress a horse or exercise them, so you're starting a young horse and you put him under more exercise, stress thins out that joint fluid, right? So feeding LQHA plus to a young horse is actually preventative, right? Because we're keeping 
that joint fluid thick and viscous and doing its job even when it's going through stress. So LQHA plus I recommend for young horses. Optimum Flex Plus is our joint supplement that we use for older horses, osteoarthritis, um, really diagnosed with more joint disease, okay? MSM, glucosamine, it's a powdered supplement that you're going to put on your feed, uh, loading dose two ounces a day, and then you're going to one, one ounce a day after that. Glucosamine, chondroitin, vitamin C, hyaluronic acid, some manganese, zinc, and copper because they help with cartilage. So just like the, the hoof supplement where I said biotin isn't the only thing, hyaluronic acid isn't the only thing in these older horses, right? We want to see glucosamine and chondroitin and uh, MSM. We want to see the whole gamut here. These are going to attack all the different parts of the joint. What we know, though, is if you start feeding the OptiFlex to a young horse that is already making these, they will slow down their own production of these, right? Now, the reason why we want to feed the LQHA plus to that young horse is we know that we're thinning out that fluid, and we want to put it in. They're not able to make enough to compensate for the stress that we're putting them under. But if we then, if we start feeding them OptiFlex and we decide, oh, it's a bit expensive, I don't want to feed this anymore, then we run the risk that they aren't producing enough. So, you, so if you do take a horse off OptiFlex, you want to slowly do it. Um, because you need them to to make their own again. So young horse, you know, two-year-old through 10-year-old, hyaluronic acid, the LQHA+, plus, older horses that have worked hard, um, the OptiFlex. DHA Perform is just the out. It's just the DHA, straight up DHA. You saw it in the Breeders Excel combined with vitamin E. And here it's just straight DHA. Um, inflammation, cardiovascular health, I mean, breeding horses, performance horses for recovery and inflammation. I will say that this, uh, if you've tried it, looks a little bit like fish food, sometimes smells a little bit like fish food. If you've got a picky horse, he might not eat it, but it is a great product if you can get your horse to eat it. Seasonal allergies, um, great because it really decreases that inflammatory response. Uh, if you have trouble getting them to eat the DHA perform, but you really want DHA, buy the Breeders Excel. Oh, I keep skipping. The Herbal Respond is a, again, um, Yucca Shittagira, Devil's Claw, Vitamin C, Roswellia. These are natural anti-inflammatories. Do not feed to this to a pregnant mare. Also, do not feed this to a horse that you're competing in shank sanctioned events because devil's claw is a banned substance. Um, but this is a natural, uh, natural anti-inflammatory. Um, formula E and SE. We've got natural vitamin E and selenium. So if we have horses uh, maybe that um, suffer from tying up, and we know they're not getting enough selenium in their diet, then I go with the vitamin E and selenium. A lot of times I actually will recommend the straight natural vitamin E, which we'll get to next, um, before I go to the E and SE. E and SE I have in my back pocket. I don't recommend it as much because I usually want really high amounts of natural vitamin E. Um, and you can't do that when you use this product because you'll get overdose of selenium. So I, I will balance a diet and make sure they're doing an orange total performance, you know, one of racing formula, Breeders' Choice Plus, one of the vitamins and minerals, I'll know that they're getting the selenium. Um, but some, some clients do request a vitamin E and selenium supplement combined.
The DAC metabolic, and I know we're going over time a little bit, but there's a lot to get to in the catalog. Metabolic was a supplement. Again, there was consumer demand. Do you have a supplement for metabolic horses? Do you have a supplement for fat horses? Do you have a horse supplement for horses with lemonitis? Uh, and for a long time, I, the answer was nope, 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 we don't. Research, the uh, bringing out the chemtrace chromium, which you will see in the act, these ingredients is chromium propionate, um, FDA approved. All of this came out. More research came out on that chromium. More research came out on the magnesium. And then we were able to align the research with the consumer demand and we came out with metabolic. So horses with uh, obesity, crusty neck, sugar sensitivity, metabolic syndrome, um, that worst case scenario leads to things like laminitis, uh, Cushing's horses that need to have a low sugar starch diet. All of these horses can benefit from the DAC metabolic. Now, it doesn't mean you can throw them the DAC metabolic and then feed them whatever you want and not exercise them and let them stay fat. This is a tool in your toolbox. You're still going to have a low carb diet. You're still going to be on any drugs that your veterinarian prescribes, but the metabolic. So we talked about chromium and how it works in a healthy athlete, how it works in a horse that has metabolic issues. They are what we call insulin resistant. So we talked about glucose being the kind of fuel for life. Well, in a horse that's insulin resistant, they consume food, break it down, glucose is in their belly, and then it gets absorbed into their bloodstream. And how it works in a healthy horse is insulin is the driver. It's the catalyst that takes the glucose out of the bloodstream and into the organ or the tissue in order to be utilized. In a horse with metabolic issues that is insulin resistant, the insulin is broken. It can't do its job. It still gets created, but, but it doesn't work. So the glucose just stays in the bloodstream and that is damaging. We do not want the glucose to stay in the bloodstream. We need the glucose to get out of the, the bloodstream and into the cell to be used. And so what chromium will do, like it does in the healthy horse, it pushes more glucose into the cell so that it can be used now in the horse where the insulin is broken, so it's not able to get that glucose into the cell. The chromium upregulates those broken, that broken insulin and helps to drive that glucose into the cell. So I had a question. Well, my horse can't have glucose. That is the whole problem. It can't have glucose. No, the problem is not that it cannot have glucose. In its sick state where it has insulin resistance, it can't, it can't clear the glucose. That is the problem. Not that it can't have glucose, it can't utilize the glucose because it can't get it out of the bloodstream and into the cell. If we can make that happen and get the glucose out of the bloodstream and into the cell, then we improve immune function and we improve overall health. It doesn't mean it's a cure-all. It doesn't mean we go feed this horse, you know, spring grass and a huge amount of sugars and starches, but it means that we can clear that glucose and the glucose can then go boost that horse's immune system, and et cetera. So that is what the metabolic is for. It's part of your toolkit. Formula Calm B, nine times out of 10, horses aren't straight up crazy, right? It's usually gut pain, muscle pain, skeletal pain, saddle doesn't fit, rider's too big, whatever. If you rule out all of that, and the horse just does have a bit of a behavioral issue, the Calm B, thiamine, tryptophan, B vitamins, magnesium, all to help calm that horse. But I want you not to jump to calm B every time a customer comes to you and says, my horse is crazy. I need something. We need to rule out all the other causes that might have changed the horse's behavior first. And if we do that, then we go to calm B, either in the powder or the paste. And I'll tell you, if the horse, let's say we're, we're trying to load a horse onto a trailer and he is getting hyped up, hyped up, and he is getting more and more uncomfortable and is really getting a bit psychotic. Once you're in that state, no amount of Calm B or any calming supplement from any company for that matter is going to calm that horse down. The only thing that'll do it at that point is drugs. So when you're using a calming supplement, you have to do it prior to the event that causes that horse to become stressed. 
The mare relief, we all know that some mares during their reproductive cycle um, can be a little moody. And so the mare relief has Dong Quai, red raspberry, some kind of natural herbs that can alleviate some of that um, kind of ups and downs in their behavior during their reproductive cycle. Electro aid, electro aid is our electrolyte supplement. Number one, it doesn't have any sugar in it. Electrolytes that have a boatload of sugar in them are counterproductive. Why? Because the sugar actually blocks the uptake of those electrolyte salts. So you put a boatload of sugar in it, mainly for people, so that we go buy more Gatorade, for example. You know the electrolyte in people that is the most effective, if you just want to buy something over the counter, is Pedialyte. Why would you not want to drink it? Because it tastes awful. All right? I love the taste of Gatorade. It's nice and sweet. I feel like I'm getting a treat. But actually, it's just driving me to drink more of it. And that is blocking the uptake of the, some of those um, electrolyte salts. It's got sugar in it so that I'll buy more, not because it's actually doing anything for me. So the electrolyte, electro aid comes in a powdered formula and also in a taste formula. The one time that I think people neglect the electrolyte, most people are on the money when it comes to the summertime and horses are sweating and we're doing electrolytes. Yay, everyone's great. A lot more people are riding through the wintertime now, right? And just because the air is dry and you don't see the horse sweating doesn't mean that they're not sweating and losing those electrolytes. In the springtime, we see acute tying up because horses overexercise for their physical fitness level. They sweat, but maybe it's still dry out the air and, hum and there's no humidity. So it, it dries out that sweat before you even see it. And they tie up because they lost electrolytes and you didn't replace them. So if your horse is exercising, it should be on an electrolyte. The E natural is out. It's just plain, straight, natural vitamin E, right? Uh, top line. If you're grabbing at protein supplements left, right, and center to develop a top line on your horse and nothing's working, grab the E natural. Helps with top line, helps with muscle, muscle development, helps with reproductive function, uh, you know, old horses, immune function, insulin resistance, metabolic syndrome. If you've got a horse on metabolic, you should also have them on the E natural. You've got a horse that's older, you should also have them on the E natural. You've got a horse that's exercising that doesn't have free choice access to fresh green grass, they should be on E natural right? Horses get vitamin E from fresh green grass and most horses just don't consume enough green grass. It's also green grass has enough for a maintenance horse, not a horse doing heavy loads of exercise, right? The pastes, CMZ, Colt Builder Paste, it's copper, manganese, and zinc. They're the three primary ingredients. And those are for cartilage and bone development. So if you've got a young horse that has some leg or joint issues, some OCD, DOD issues, um, then CMZ is the therapeutic product that you would feed. So the cold grower you're feeding every day, it's giving vitamins and minerals, it's giving that cool source of calcium that's gonna help with bone strength. But if we need a more therapeutic dose of the copper, manganese, and zinc, we're gonna use the cold Cult grow, the cult builder paste, the CMZ paste, right? Half a tube to a tube a day. You're probably not going to feed this for more than, you know, one to two weeks. Probiotic paste. It's straight probiotics. So it's live bacteria. It's um, lactic acid bacteria. Young horses, when you're developing, any horse that's been on antibiotics and killed everything, you want to put the probiotic paste because it's going to repopulate that bacterial population. If you've got a horse with diarrhea, I am not inclined to feed the probiotic paste. Why? Because usually the diarrhea comes from an imbalance. So we've got too many lactic acid producing bacteria. Um, if they ate spring grass or they got into the grain room and they've got a bit of diarrhea, it usually means because there's a lot more lactic acid producing bacteria and we need the one, the other bacteria that are gonna kind of keep them in balance. In a diarrhea case, I'm more inclined to do rescue aid paste or rescue aid powder, but after antibiotics, if we've killed everything, that's when I'm doing probiotic paste. 
Um, electroaid paste, again, it's just the paste formula of the electroaid. Um, the rescue aid paste, it's got that GI Pro 3, it's got the Buta Pearl, it's one tube. You're going to do the whole tube. So three ounces of rescue aid powder or one tube of paste will give you that therapeutic dose of the Buta Pearl and the GI Pro 3. I typically recommend, recommend the rescue aid paste for horses that have completely gone off their food or young babies that aren't really eating yet already. Um, I'll do the rescue aid paste. So remember, young babies very at risk for developing clostridia, which is cause, causes diarrhea, um, respiratory issues. So young babies in that first three days of life, I'm recommending half a tube of rescue aid paste per day, right, for the first. So I do two tubes and I do it for four days and I do half a tube a day. Um, E-boost paste has the chemtrace chromium in it as well as uh, some branch chain amino acids and some vitamin B, and it's also got the chemtrace chromium in there. So it's going to help for um, recovery, really for recovery. Combi paste, again, it's the paste version of the powder and 100% safe for horses that are competing. There's nothing in the combi powder or the paste that is banned. I can't get it to go. Uh, grooming products, I think these are all pretty self-explanatory. Um, you know, your two-in-one shampoo, your citronella concentrate. We've got a lot. So remember when I was talking earlier about all horses in your facility need to be under some kind of fly control. So the citronella either just comes in a handy-dandy spray or you can buy the concentrate so that you can make your own spray. Um, the bright accent shampoo. Any women on here that have blonde hair know what purple shampoo does. It gets rid of yellow and it makes white white. Um, hoof therapy, again, you want to make sure that you're feeding your hooves from the inside out. But then if there's fungus, my, you know, thrush, anything on that outside that is trying to attack those hooves, the hoof therapy. Detoxifying shampoo, um, it's got tea tree oil, it's going to again help with some of those um, external toxins that get onto the animal, has that nice mentholy smell. Um, oh, shite. The power rinse, again, it's that menthol in the wintergreen, the eucalyptus, the camphor that is going to give that um, liniment effect, the wound spray. So a lot of you remember. Um, the Pure Shield that we had, the wound spray is uh, what we use now for all of those cuts, scrapes, hot spots, ringworm. I sprayed it on my horse with my cows with ringworm, um, abscesses, sores. The cooling liniment, again, if you want to put it on your horse, medicated poultice for decreasing inflammation from the ex outside, laser HD um, is that kind of white liquid that is going to make them slick and shiny. The tangle free helps with combing. Um, ultimately, in my opinion, you keep the horse healthy from the inside out and then all of these just, again, more tools to help you um, help you boost your program. And then the, the poultice again for inflammation. Buta Pearl ZEQ. So if you're like, oh, I, I heard there's this Buta Pearl, it's really great, it's in the rescue aid, it's here, it's there, but I can't quite remember what she, all the cool benefits, or you've got a client that wants to know more about it, here is a page, um, the science, kind of the intestinal wall here, and those are the intestinal cells, and between those cells are supposed to be nice tight junctions or Velcros, hold, hold that barrier, right, where that's that protective barrier that we don't want to punch through. Um, and then it's that feeding those intestinal cells, keeping that intestine strong. Because really, when your horse consumes something, you think it's inside the horse, but it's still, by definition, on the outside of the horse. Anything that's in the intestines is still on the outside of the horse. It hasn't gone into the bloodstream yet. 
Um, and a brand new product that we launched at DAC Days this year was the DEER products, the attractant and the mineral block. What makes these different to any other uh, DEER products on the market is that bioavailable marine calcium. Marine calcium, there's a bunch of research on the marine calcium and antler strength and antler size. If you can keep the antlers strong, when those bucks are fighting, they're not gonna break. If they're rubbing on trees, they're not gonna break. So bigger antlers for you. And the chromium, again, what does it take to get a big buck and big antlers? Energy, where does energy come for any being on the planet? Glucose. If you can drive more glucose into the cell, you can use it for growth, for immune system. Bucks are stressed, like it is stressful to be a male. So um, an animal male that is. So we wanna make sure that we give them all the nutrients they can, apple flavor, so that they are attracted to it and wanna eat it. Now I've actually seen some pictures on the DAC Facebook page that people posted of the deer blocks that they had put out and they were annihilated. So that is our catalog. Any questions? Please let me know.